back. We're playing WRL again, but this time we're doing it with the top NFL free agent edge rushers. What's up, Jets GC? Also, I appreciate all you guys hitting the like button, commenting, all on this small channel, helping me grow. I appreciate it. I am nothing without you guys. So that was a quick me saying how much I appreciate all of you. And let's get to W or L. If you're new here, this is how it works. The game is called W or L. The tier list for all the free agent edge rushes we are doing right now. The top tier will be called Pay That Man. The second tier will be called a W. The third tier will be N for neutral. And the fourth tier is an L. Let's talk about how it's ranked. It is ranked by PFF grade, sacks, how healthy they were, off the field issues, how many forced fumbles they had, age, and quarterback pressures. This will all be ranked into stars per category. Three stars being the best. Then there's two stars, then there's one star, and then at last, if it, the category is really bad for the player, there will be a sad face. Pull up the whiteboard right now. First, we have Shaquille Barrett, the Tampa Bay edge rusher who just won a Super Bowl. He is 28 years old. That gives him two stars. His PFF grade was a 71. That is one star. He had eight sacks this season, giving him two stars. How healthy he was this year? He played 15 out of the 16 games giving him three stars. Off the field issues, haven't found anything on Shaquille Barrett, so he's going to get three stars. Two forced fumbles this year, that is a one star. And how many quarterback pressures he had, he had 16 quarterback pressures, giving him two stars and a total of 14 points. Next, we have the guy who has been everywhere this season it is Yannick Ngakwe. He is 26 years old, that is three stars. His PFF grade was a 70, that gives him one star. He had eight sacks this season, giving him two stars. How healthy he was, he also played 15 of 16 games. That gives him three stars. His off-the-field issues, I couldn't find anything besides him wanting out of Jacksonville. I gave him three stars of that. Forced fumbles, he had four for forced fumbles this season. That is two stars. And QB pressures, he had 11 QB pressures, giving him one star. And a total of 15 points. Next up, we got Leonard Floyd. Leonard Floyd is 29 years old. That is two stars. His PFF grade was a 69. That is a sad face. Sacks, he had 11 sacks this season. That is three stars. He played all 16 games this year. That is another three stars. Off the field issues, again, couldn't find anything. That is three stars for Leonard Floyd. He had one forced fumble this year. That gives him one star. And 19 quarterback pressures giving him 14 points. Now we have one of the Steelers' top edge rushers, Bud Dupree. Bud Dupree is 28 years old, giving him two stars. His PFF grade was a 60. That is a sad face. He had eight sacks this season, giving him two stars. How healthy he was. He played 11 games this year. He was dealing with an injury. He gets two stars for that. Off the field issues, couldn't find anything with Bud. That's three stars. Forced fumbles, he had two forced fumbles. That is one star. And QB pressures, he had 15 QB pressures, giving him two stars and a total of 12 points. Now we have the Saints young stud edge rusher, Trey Hendrickson. Trey Hendrickson is 26 years old. That gives him three stars. His PFF grade was a 72. That gives him one star. He had 14 sacks this season, giving him three stars. He played 15 of the 16 games this year, giving him three stars. Off the field issues, again, couldn't find anything. Three stars. Force fumbles, he had one force fumble this year, giving him one star. And he had 25 QB pressures, giving him three stars and a total of 17 points. Now we have the Baltimore Raven, Matthew Judon. Matthew Judon is 29 years old, giving him two stars. His PFF grade, his PFF grade was a 59, giving him a sad face. He had six sacks this season, giving him a one star. How healthy he was, he played 14 of the 16 games, giving him three stars. Off the field issues, he had an incident where he punched a ref unintentionally. So I gave him two stars for that. Force fumbles, he had zero, giving him a sad face. And he had 21 QB pressures, giving him three stars and a total of 11 points. Next up is the former number one overall pick, Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian Clowney is 28 years old, giving him two stars. His PFF grade, his PFF grade was a 75, giving him two stars. He had zero sacks this season giving him a sad face. 
how healthy he was. He played eight games out of the 16. That also gives him a sad face. Off the field, couldn't find anything on Clowney. That's three stars. Forced fumbles, he had one forced fumble, giving him one star. And QB pressures, he only had six QB pressures, giving him another sad face and a total of eight points. Now we have the veteran Justin Houston. Justin Houston is 32 years old, giving him a sad face. His PFF grade was a 64, giving him a sad face. He had eight sacks this season, giving him two stars. How healthy he was, he played all 16 games, giving him three stars. No off-the-field issues that I could find, another three stars. He had one forced fumble this year, giving him one star. And 12 QB pressures, giving him one star and a total of 10 points. Now we have the Cincinnati Bengal, Carl Lawson. Carl Lawson is 26 years old, giving him three stars. His PFF grade was a 76, giving him two stars. He had six sacks this season, giving him one star. He played all 16 games, giving him three stars. No off the field issues, three stars. Forced fumbles, two, that is one star. And to lead the list by a lot, 32 QB pressures, three stars, giving him a total of 16 points. Hassan Reddick, Hassan Reddick is 26 years old, giving him three stars. His PFF grade was a 73, giving him one star. He had 13 sacks this season, giving him three stars. He played all 16 games, giving him three stars. Off the field, couldn't find anything, three stars. Six forced fumbles this year, giving him another three stars. And 16 QB pressures, giving him two stars and a total of 18 points. Now we got Carlos Dunlap. Carlos Dunlap is 32 years old, giving him a sad face. His PFF grade was a 60, giving him another sad face. He had six sacks this season, giving him one star. How healthy he was, he played all 16 games, giving him three stars. No off the field issues that I could find, that's another three stars. Zero forced fumbles, giving him a sad face. Pressures, he had 18 QB pressures for two stars and a total of nine points. Now we have Alden Smith. Alden Smith is 31 years old, giving him one star. His PFF grade was a 66, giving him a sad face. He had four sacks this season, giving him another sad face. He played all 16 games this year, giving him three stars. Off the field issues, he was suspended from the league. Do I need to say more? Bad, that's a sad face. Four fumbles, he had zero. That's another sad face. Quarterback pressures, he had eight. That's another sad face, giving him the lowest total in four points. Now we have Romeo Okora. Romeo Okora is 26 years old, giving him three stars. His PFF grade was a 69, giving him a sad face. Sacks this season, he had 10 sacks, giving him three stars. How healthy he was, he played all 16 games, giving him another three stars. Off the field issues, couldn't find anything, that's another three stars. Forced fumbles, he had three forced fumbles, giving him two stars. And at the end, QB pressures. He had 18 QB pressures. That's two stars for a total of 16 points. Now the man that was cut from the Atlanta Falcons, we have Tack McKinley. Tack McKinley, he is 25 years old, giving him three stars. His PFF grade was a 70, giving him a one star. He had one sack this season, giving him a sad face. How healthy he was, he only played four games this season, giving him another sad face. Off the field issues, he was okay. He had a little... Thing, a big thing on Twitter, but I just gave him two stars. Forced fumbles, that's a sad face. Pressures, seven, sad face. Total of six points. The last edge rusher we will be discussing is Adrian Claiborne. Adrian Claiborne is 33 years old, giving him a sad face. His PFF grade was a 60, that's a sad face. He had four sacks this season, that's another sad face. He played 15 of the 16 games this season, that is a three stars. Off the field issues, couldn't find anything. That's another three stars. Force fumbles, he only had one this season. That gives him one star. And seven quarterback pressures. That gives him a sad face and a total of seven points. The results for the pay that man category, I have Hassan Reddick, Trey Hendrickson, Carl Lawson, and Romeo Okora. For the W category, I have Yannick Yangakwe, Shaq Barrett, Bud Dupree, and Leonard Floyd. For the end category, I have Matt Judon, 
Justin Houston, Jadavian Clowney. And now lastly for the L category, I have Carlos Dunlap, Adrian Claiborne, Tack McKinley, and then Alden Smith. So that's the end of W or L. Please like, comment, subscribe. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Comment more. I want you guys to comment. I answer to every single comment. So please comment. It helps me grow on YouTube. And that's the end of the video. I'm Jets of GC and I'm out. Peace.